Hey everybody, I'm back this time with the second part of my uh, recent PSA pickup video. These are all items that I picked up in the last month and a half. And I, I want to say that I have been pretty aggressive in trying to buy a lot of stuff uh, this last uh, month and a half. I, I really had some extra money that I had uh, to go out and go and get uh, some Hank Aaron and some Willie Mays and a couple of Roberto Clemente's, as well as some of the other guys that I normally collect. Uh, so here's the second part of that video. Uh, starting here with a, a 1967, and I really like this. Uh, some people uh, may not appreciate it as much as I do, but these checklist cards with the floating heads, I've always loved those. Uh, so this is just a, a checklist uh, with uh, number 214 is Dick Kelly. There's another variation where it's somebody else, but that's uh, I got Willie Mays head on there. And then uh, this Willie Mays outfielder, it's uh, just an excellent six, or excuse me, excellent five, but it, it's that's a fair grade. And then a really nice uh, Hank Aaron and a Nearman 7. Then I picked up just a couple uh, of the higher number commons from the 67 set. Love the 67 set. Probably my, well, it is definitely my second favorite behind the 1960 set from the 60s. And then on to 68, uh, got this Hank Aaron and a uh, Nearman 7. And then uh, love these uh, all star selection cards here with this Harmon Killer Brew and. Uh, Hank Aaron both and eight. I'm trying to get all 20. There's 20 of these in the set. Right now I've got nine of them, all PSA uh, near to mint to mint eights. So i uh, looking to collect that set here as uh, time goes on. And then uh, just a gorgeous uh, Ferguson Jenkins. I uh, really like Fergie Jenkins, underrated player. And then on the right here, this, this card, I love this card. This manager's dream card with Roberto Clemente and uh, Tony Oliva and uh, Chico Cardonius. Uh, they are, they're all... Uh, I guess I, don't know, I think Tony Oliva is a is a Latin, uh, maybe Dominican as well. I don't know if that's why they put those guys on the card, but uh, it's probably at an All Star game or something. But just a great photography, great image. Uh, always wanted this card and the uh, the other one that's got the mantle maze and killer brew. Yeah, that one's uh, probably about twice as expensive as this one. Uh, so maybe one day, maybe one day I'll get it. But uh, really nice card to have. And then this here, this this is a gorgeous '69 maze. Uh, it's just a Nearman seven, but. Uh, when I bought it, I paid a little bit more for it than I would have for a 7 because it was so nice. And, and even the, the, the seller advertised it as a high end. It looks like an 8. And uh, he was dead right. It, it definitely looks like an 8. A beautiful card. And then down here to uh, a decals here, this uh, Don Drysdale on a 9. And then we're on into the 70s. And uh, the set I really like, these Kellogg's 3D uh, imageries here. This Lou Brock and an 8. A Kurt Flood and a 9. And then over here, these two are just drop dead gorgeous. This Al K line and this Harmon Killebrew. If you can just see the uh, the imagery and the the color on these cards is just it's just awesome. I really like those 3D Kellogg's cards. Uh, then a, a couple 71s. Uh, that black border set very tough. I bought these both uh, from Just Collect, uh, and he uh, if you check him out on YouTube, he's got his own YouTube channel where he'll actually show uh, some of the collections that he picks up. So you kind of get a preview of what what's coming out on his site. Uh, on eBay. So I think these might have been from the Cherry Hill, New Jersey collection. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. But I uh, just want to give a shout out to Just Collect. Uh, I really like his uh, his videos he posts on YouTube. And, and he always uh, always seemed to get a good price when I bid on his stuff on eBay. He's got, he's got a lot of great stuff. If I was selling my collection, which I'm obviously not, uh, he may be a guy that I would call if I wanted to liquidate everything. Just a, uh, seems like a real trustworthy guy. Uh, and then moving on here, uh, 1974. This is Hank Aaron's. This is actually his regular card. So they did this commemorative card for uh, him breaking the home run record. But it is his only true card from 74. They also did a, uh, a little subset. Uh, I have one that I'm waiting to come uh, come in the mail. But they have a little subset where they show every one of his tops cards throughout the years. Uh, they did it similarly in 86 with Pete Rose. Uh, but this is the 74 uh, Hank Aaron card. And then these are a little different as well. These are the uh, SSPC cards. This is just kind of like a independent, like somebody's like, well, let me make my own card. So uh, they did these cards. There's a lot of examples out of these in really nice grade. I think they were going for like maybe the 53 Bowman look where they just did a nice color photography uh, with just white borders. But I mean, not bad. I mean, I wanted to get these guys. These are the guys that collect Nolan Ryan, uh, Rod Carew, and then Ferguson Jenkins. Uh, they're not very expensive. So if, I mean, if you want to round out your set on these players, I decided to finally pop on those. I might look to get the uh, George Brett and the Robin Yacht rookie. They're still not that pricey uh, from 75 as well. Uh, and down here, I love the 75 uh, tops. Uh, and the mini in particular, I have the set ungraded. 
Uh, so it's always nice to pick up some more of these minis. Uh, this uh, a Willie Mays uh, All Star, or excuse me, MVP card. And then these strikeout leaders from 74. I have this in an 8 uh, full size. This is the first Nolan Ryan mini that I've gotten so far, so I still need to get all the rest of his 75 minis uh, for my collection. Uh, a nice. A nice Mike Schmidt home run leaders card, Ray. You can appreciate that. I don't know, Ray. Do you collect the minis as well? I know you have a nice collection of uh, Schmidt. I don't know if you're collecting in the mini as well. Uh, then down here, the uh, the Gaylord Perry mini for my uh, Gaylord Perry collection. And then coming on here to uh, to a set that I that I think is underrated, obviously, and uh, it's my birth year '76. So uh, maybe one day I'll look to get the whole set. But uh, this George Brett in an excellent mint six, uh, very tough to get this in a, a near mint to mint eight. It's very pricey, and even the near mint it runs you a little over forty bucks. I picked this up for less than half that price, so uh, very satisfied. I just wanted to get the Brett card itself, and this one is not in bad shape. The sittering is fairly decent on it, uh, but it is it is a six. You know, it's probably got some surface and a little bit of a. It's been loved alone a little bit, but it's still in a really good shape. And then this Tom Seaver in a near mint to mint eight, uh, very nice as well. Don't have a lot of Tom Seaver. I think this might be the first Tom Seaver card I've actually got. It. I did bid on his rookie the other day, but I was nowhere close to winning it. That uh, that card is uh, getting to be out of my price range. And then here a couple Opeachy cards. Uh, they got super nice. This uh, Rod Carew uh, batting leaders, and then also uh, for my Steve Carlton and Jim Palmer collection, I was able to kill two birds with one stone. And get both of those in this uh, near mint to mint plus, so an 8.5. And then the last baseball card I've, I've got here, uh, this this Johnny Damon. So uh, these this foil, uh, we've all seen the, uh, we all know the most important foil in this set is ever the Derek Jeter, the Derek Jeter rookie. And it should be that. I mean, it's a fantastic card. It's it's like the Holy Grail from the 90s, uh, much like the the Michael Jordan 86 Fleer is uh, for the 80s. That Holy Grail card. Uh, so this is kind of like I, I bought this very inexpensive, but uh, still just a cool card to look at. And Johnny Damon, he may, he's probably not going to be a Hall of Flame player, but definitely a, a key, a key player to have uh, if you're a true baseball fan. And then actually I picked up a couple football cards as well. I have no idea why I got that Sonny Jorgensen, but I did. I think I was trying to bundle with some other cards, and I didn't win in the bid on any of the cards. I ended up winning the Jorgensen, but it's a cool card. You know, I didn't pay that much for it. And then this one I'm, I'm really proud of, this Tony Dorsett. I've been looking to get this for, for years, for years. And now that I'm on this buying rant, I figured, hey, let's pick it up. I got it for about 45 bucks. This probably has the potential to, to just go up and up. It's a really nice card from the 70s from a really great, great football player. All right, well, it's been about eight minutes in the video, and that kind of concludes. Uh, I want to wrap it up again. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll be posting a, a mail day video again as uh, some more and stuff comes in. Uh, thank you very much.